Well, hello and welcome you guys to the Corporate Mastery. I'm super excited to have you guys here today. And we're really going to be talking about unlocking the secrets to landing corporate clients. So by the time we're done here, you're going to have some actionable things that you could literally start doing today to get yourself into some of these companies. And for those who don't have their stuff ready yet, that's okay, because we're going to give you an opportunity to really help put your stuff together and really have some feedback so that you can go out there and confidently sell into your program, services, trainings, that kind of thing. So let's dive in. I have the PowerPoint here. Share my screen. Do -do -do. And if I can get to you, you. Show. All right. So knowing that you are interested in, in landing some corporate clients, we're excited to have you here because we have a lot of knowledge. Steve and I have been doing this a long time separately. And probably a year, year and a half ago, we decided, what are we doing this alone? We have so many great things that cross over that really can help people not only, you know, get in the door, but really be able to take it to the next level, to take your content, your courses, your speaking your consulting into this um and to this in, into these industries and into the corporations and organizations that are highly seeking people just like you who need they, there's people need your information there is so much to be said now about corporate and they have since coming back from covid what I've noticed is that so much more is trying to get the employees back <laughs> because they all went remote and so a lot of these companies are like Let's incentivize more of our employees by having training and personal development plans. And I even see that Google has opened up a whole realm of allowing some of their, their employees to become coaches and coach throughout the company. So I know that they're shifting. There's a big shift in that. And so you're right in the precipice of having that happen for your business and what you bring to the world. So our goal today is to share the four secrets to landing corporate clients. So you're going to get a whole bunch of knowledge today. This is not the fluff kind of thing where we're going to spend 15, 20 minutes talking about ourselves, tell you, you know, what, like, what, what is this and, and not give you any of the how. We're going to give you lots of how. So you want to stick around today because you're really going to get some of that. And that's, I think, what makes us a little different is we come with service hearts. We serve first because we know when we serve you, it makes a difference for us. Right. And I know when I'm getting away from serving people, I notice that if I'm working in my business <clears throat> and just doing the things that I'm supposed to be doing and I'm not when I'm not client facing, I set, tend to get a little more run down and frustrated and burn out because I know that what, what I love to do is just serve and give freely. So you're going to get a lot of that from us today. And if you stay to the end, we have two books that we want to be able to give to you. You'll get the ebooks of both of these. Stephen will be talking about how he sold 240,000 of these inside of corporate, his personal action guide, and how you can create one of those for yourself. In our program, we talk about that because we know that it adds another line item to their budget, but it's a different line item. So you're working with different budgets. So they might have a budget for a speaker or a consultant, but they have others for materials, courses, licensing, books. So we want to make sure you're maximizing that. Every time you get a corporate client, you're maximizing how much money you can actually make with the company. So for those who don't know me, I'm Erin loman -Jack. I'm an executive speaking coach, a TEDx speaking coach, and a business coach for speakers. And I really love TEDx. So that's how you see my book. I have a 99% success rate on landing a TED Talk because I've been on both sides of the table as the speaking coach, but also as a screening. I've been hired by at least 20 Fortune 100 to help coach and speak and, and do speaking coaching with their executives. And the fun thing about me is as a dolphin trainer, and I just got to take my kids to go see my dolphins in the Florida Keys right after the cruise. So it was really fun. And it was so beautiful to watch my children see the very first dolphin. I, I was the very first human that touched this dolphin and she's there and now she has a baby. And and it was amazing to be back there and do that. So, and let's talk about Steven. Steven, I'll let you talk about yourself. Sure. Because you're so good um, at that. <laughs> thank you so much. So I'm a 25 year change management consultant and I've worked with 24 Fortune 500 companies. I've also worked in a lot of different hospitals. In fact, I licensed my patient satisfaction system to 1100 hospitals nationwide. I've also written a few books and there are a couple books not showing here. But the one thing I just wanted to share is 
the personal action guide, the personal action guide is the secret to selling the 214,000 copies of the book. Um, instead of it being a book, it's a personal action guide with all kinds of exercises and tools inside the workbook. And so it's a workbook format. And so what I would do is I would sell it, for instance, Pfizer um, Pharmaceutical hired me to work with the logistics department with 200 managers. So what I did was I sold them 220 copies of the personal action guide, and then they're able to use the action guide as a follow-up after I leave, after my um, speaking or workshop is over. The whole idea is that the personal action guide is something that managers can use on an ongoing basis after the, after the training is over. And so that's the real hook on the personal action guide. So I'm excited to be here. I love it. And Stephen's very modest. He's done, I mean, think about it, 1,100 organizations. Just say that. If you, if you could just even think for a moment, you've worked for 1,100 organizations, that's pretty amazing, right? So he he's just, he's humble. He, he's kind of a big deal in my mind. So there's a lot of things we've done right, as we just told you all about our successes, right? That's the easy part, right? That's the sunshine on top. But we've also done a lot of things wrong. And we got it wrong a lot. We learned through that. And because of that, that's where we are today. And that's what we want to help you to avoid the landmines that you might not know are there. And so this is going to really help you to do that. So the hard way is working. You work for too little money, right? You don't, maybe you go to live events, but you don't know how to, you know, get clients out of it. You don't know how to convert them. Maybe you're a generalist. You're, you, you're not an expert. What, what a lot of these corporations want is an expert, an industry expert in whatever topic that is for you. Now, don't discount that your experience is worth that. Because some people come to me and they say, well, Aaron, I don't have a lot of experience or I, my story isn't that big or, or those kinds of things. But I will tell you that they want that knowledge. They want to avoid landmines. And if you're going in there and helping them avoid those landmines, then they're happy. But they need to know that you're an expert in that topic. So every one of your experiences, all the things you've gone through, the things you've struggled with, all of that is a part of what makes you an expert. And so I don't want you to think that just because it's corporate, there has to be, all, you've had to work in corporate or know those things. And we'll talk a little bit about, about that more, but you don't. I never worked in corporate. I worked for nonprofits. I was a marriage and family therapist. I went to school for that. And I never was in the big corporation. So when I went into this, I thought there was no way I could land it because I didn't speak their language and I didn't know what they wanted. But I will tell you that that is a fallacy and we're going to blow, blow that out of the water. And maybe some of you are playing too small. Some of you, I even think I play too small sometimes. Um, other people would be like blown out of the water that I'd say that. But it is true. And I feel like there's other people maybe that are out there more than I am. So they, I can kind of be kind of a best kept secret. But sometimes you're also not, you know, I mean, you're supporting, you're submitting these proposals, but you never hear back. Well, there's a secret to that. And there's a secret of when to actually send a proposal. And it's not what you think it is. So we'll be talking about that as well. So after doing this for 25 years, what we've realized is there's a lot of those fallacies. You don't need that corporate experience, like we said. There's many ways to get into the decision maker or get around the decision maker, which is good for me. Distribute, you know, a whole bunch of books, like we said, through corporate. You could, you could do that, too, even if you don't have a book right now. In our opportunity, you can create one and then we can generate it. And then you would have one that you could create a personal action guide that you could sell 200,000 books inside of corporate. And that there's a right way to use proposals. Like we said, there's a right, there's a perfect timing for it. And maybe you have sent them before and never heard back. It's because you didn't know the timing. So, and then we, that so much people sell much more than just speaking. And so, you know, you have to, we, you, you really got to think about how to expand your repertoire. So for me, I worked for um, Am the woman from Amazon called and she's like, hey, we have these women of Amazon. I'd love to have you come speak. And what I ended up doing was selling so much more because I was like, well, what? Let me hear more about what this group is and what are you struggling with and what? how are the other speakers coming in and what is it that you really need? And through that conversation, she told me that they had tried doing other things. They tried having a book club, all these things, and it wasn't working because people were, they were like, this, uh, this awesome speaker came in. It was great. They left. We didn't implement. We didn't do anything and nothing changed. 
And so I said, okay, well, let's make that different. And so that's what I want you to do. You're going to expand how much more you can serve them. So then I was offering that. She's like, well, what if I said, okay, I'll do this talk. And then what if we do a, a five-day challenge, helping them for the next week, go through it, get some results, get some feedback and implement what they were taught. She said, great. And then can you come to our retreats? our quarterly retreats, and we would love to have you speak on the bigger stages. And so just from that one conversation, I was able to expand not just one speaking gig for 10 grand. I made it into a $75,000 offer by the time we were done. And so that's what we want you to think about. So you're going to get some shortcuts today. That's the king and queen of shortcuts. That's us. My daughter calls me the queen of hacks because <laughs> I like to get there faster, easier. And results aren't typical. This, you know, here's the thing. We want to be very clear. If you are doing the work and if you do the step-by-step -step program and you know exactly what to do, you will get really great results. But you got to do the work. We're not here to do the work with, with, we do it with you, but not for you, right? And so in some of that, you're gonna, you're gonna need to take some action. So we really want you to be here and to know that we are action takers and we expect the same from you. And even on some of these things we're gonna talk about today, we wanna know that you're taking action on them. Get some results. So the four secrets we're gonna cover today is getting past the gatekeeper. I'm gonna close it out. <clears throat> Talking about five figure events using the champions model and optimizing corporate workshops. These are all these important things that you can do. And these are just some small little wins you can get along the way that can turn into much bigger opportunities. So I'm going to let Steven talk about getting past the gatekeeper because he is such a master at this. He was so great to, you know, do some of the things that are outside the box for some of us. He took some bold action and started to learn how to get past the gatekeeper. So Steven, I would love for ha having you to come up here and talk about getting past the gatekeeper absolutely so excited to share so the first thing to think about is it's about reframing the experience so for any of you that have um any hesitations or anxiety around prospecting or speaking to gatekeepers i want to share with you there's a way to reframe it so that you're not feeling such a position of asking and and feeling in a, from a place of um powerless or helplessness. And instead, you want to reframe it. And so the first part of it is reframing the experience with the gatekeeper. And one of the ways you can do that is by using one of these two techniques I'm going to share with you. One is the idea that when you're speaking to the gatekeeper, your introduction is that you are working on a annual report or an industry report, and you're wanting to interview the executive or get their input on the annual report. Another version of that is that you're working on a book or you're writing a book and you would like to interview the executive and get their input on the book. So the concept is you're reframing the entire reason you're calling. And so it's not about, hi, Miss, Miss Gatekeeper, can I please talk to the executive because I want to pitch them on something immediately. So it's not about pitching them immediately. It's about building the relationship first. Um, in a minute, Aaron's going to talk about how to avoid the gatekeeper altogether, which is another mind-blowing strategy to do that. The other thing quickly on this is there's something I learned when I was 19 years old where I called Sam Walton of Walmart, and I came up with this one question, and the one question made it possible that I was on this call with Sam Walton for two hours. I, I then hung up the phone and called Fred Smith of FedEx, Federal Express, and asked the same question, and he talked to me for an hour and a half. And so I've done over 1,200 of these phone calls. And so one of the things you want to think about is when talking to the gatekeeper, one of the things you can do, and I'm just going to role play this with you, is, hello, Nancy. Um, now, before I do this, you will have done some research through LinkedIn, as an example, and hopefully found the gatekeeper through LinkedIn, as an example. Um, but if you don't know that level of sophistication to your research, that's okay too. So here's the concept. Hi, Nancy, this is Stephen Rao. Um, just wanted to take a moment and then she says, yes, hello. And then you say, well, I can only imagine that you're the one that really runs the business and they'll always chuckle. They'll always chuckle when you say that. And so you're getting them off guard. And then you say, and so I'm just curious, um, when you, Nancy, when you look back on all the years that you've been at Hertz Rental Car, what do you think is the secret to your success? So now what you're doing is you're using a different technique 
which is a way to soften the engagement and you'll get them talking about themselves. And so they lower their guard. So it's a really unique way to get the gatekeeper to lower their guard. And then you can continue on with the conversation. Oh, that. I love her, one of our favorite people. Uh, she came from, she knew Stephen. She and Stephen referred her to me to help her with her speaking. And what I always loved is she she always said, you know, I was always feared of paying when I get these big ticket coaching items. And every time the payment came up, I got excited to pay it because Aaron just gives me so much joy and gives me so much knowledge and expertise to really help me just, I, you know, iron that you fix, what is it, the sharpen the sword, right? And so that's what, what we get to do here. And we're excited about helping you do that. And then Stephen, you're so great at the five-figure events and for the client and the employee appreciation. Let's talk about what are five-figure events and how can people use them? Sure. So here's the context. Let's say that you have an association and the association wants to hire you to come in and do a keynote speech or um, do a plenary speech, whatever it may be. And they say that they don't have a budget. They don't have any money to hire you in order to do that. So instead of just saying yes automatically and going and doing yet another free speech without knowing if you're going to land any clients, one of the things you want to think about is the opportunity to talk to the association about doing more than just the one talk. And so what you want to expand their thinking about is what are some other things that we could do? So for instance, I could do a breakout session for you. I could do a pre-conference workshop. So as the people arrive the morning of the first day of the conference, which let's say the conference starts at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, you could spend the morning doing a pre-conference workshop. You could also offer a post-conference workshop. The whole concept here is to create multiple touches with the audience. The other thing you can do with these types of association events is you can offer, let's say you're five months ahead of when the event actually happens. You can offer to do three monthly masterclasses leading up to the association event. And so the concept is expanding what's possible and showing them that there are a different variety of ways to engage. Now, here's how you get paid. One of the ways you get paid is that you then identify a corporate sponsor and the corporate sponsor ends up paying you your fee. And then they are able to, for instance, introduce you before you go on stage um, perhaps on your slides, you might have their company logo promoting the company as a part of your presentation slides. But the concept is getting a corporate sponsor to pay you. So one of the questions is that you may be thinking is, well, how do I find the corporate sponsor? What you do is you look at the association's event online and you take a look at their platinum and diamond sponsors. And what you do is you identify which of those sponsors, with the help of the association executive, which of those sponsors do they think might be willing to have a conversation to sponsor you? If they say that they don't want to touch any of those sponsors, which is understandable, then you say to them, well, I'm curious, who are three or four or five of the companies that you would love to have as sponsors that are coming to your conference, but they're not yet sponsors? Who would you love to have as a sponsor? And they'll say, oh, we would love to have the Shell Corporation as a sponsor, but we haven't been able to um, get their attention. So what you do is you offer that what you'll do is you'll offer your training as a client appreciation event or as an employee appreciation event for Shell Corporation. So now the association approaches Shell and they say, Shell, we have this really great expert and he does training on X, Y, and Z topic. And what we would love to do is offer that he does a client appreciation event where he'll do a live virtual training for your clients as a value add for your clients. The other version is Shell Corporation, we would love to do an employee appreciation event. And so we would love to do a virtual training with your employees. The concept is you're, you're leading with value, you're leading with serving first, but then typically what will happen is that company will end up being intrigued by what can they do more with you because they had a positive experience with the client appreciation event or the employee appreciation event. And so that's where the conversation grows into the corporate sponsorship for your own event. So it's really about expanding your, your viewpoint on what's possible in terms of doing a quote unquote free event. And so really positioning yourself differently. 
Yeah. And I think this is really great because not only did you go and go to this event and serve at this event, and then, you know, you have this client or employee appreciation, then they're going to be like, well, how do we get you to come in and talk to all of our executives or how do we have, so it starts more of a conversation and it leads you into more and more contracts. And so that's, what's the, the beautiful thing about this. We all ready go to these industry events, right? I've been to geek wire and all the corporations around, you know what I've done? I've literally went table to table <laughs> at all their little their little booths and talk to everyone who would i talk to about coming in and doing some um some speaking coaching training and they're like oh my gosh we so need that and i say so your employees tell me you need this <laughs> but this is the thing if you're already going to these events why not start talking to them about these things or you're like, hey, what's the next event you're sponsoring? Show company, right? Those kinds of things, you can start to have these conversations and really expand the kind of services that you're delivering to these to these people and to these corporations as well. So I love that. And I love that you could go and see, you know, you can always ask, here's my favorite thing, what other industry event is your competitor? <laughs> what other events are out there? Because then you can go and look at their websites and look at their sponsors if you're really looking for some sponsors. I have had companies sponsor me to actually be the co the speaking coach for TEDx, because TEDx is a free volunteer position. But I've said I don't I don't do free. If you're gonna take away three months of my life, I, I need to pay for that. And so taking all of their speakers, all 17 speakers from idea to standing ovation in three months time took me out of the game of going out and getting other clients and all those things. So I said, well, do you have a sponsor that would sponsor my fee and of $12,000? And they were like, well, no. I said, well, if I get a sponsor, will you honor it? And they said, well, of course. I said, anything you don't want, anything that's off limits, anything that's not aligned with your brand. So they give me a list and they say, here's the list that we've already created for our sponsorship team. And we we're looking at these companies. They will give it to you. And then not only are you making the conversation about this event, but they're going to want, they're going to say, wow, you really are going above and beyond. And your content is really valuable. We might need to have you come to our company. So you can see how these can open doors in so many different ways. If you don't just think about this, right? Most of us approach corporate like this. I got to find HR. I got to talk to that person. Hey, Sophie. <laughs> I got to talk to to HR to get through the gate, but there's so many other ways that you can start these conversations that can come from something like an event. And this is this is one of those people you're talking about. So why don't you talk about Dennis and what he did with his book? Sure. So Dennis had an original book called The Eight Qualities of Drama-Free Teams. And I told him that he had a really great opportunity to niche his book into um, healthcare. And so the opportunity was to do something more with healthcare and it was called Drama-Free Teams in Healthcare. Now, what we did was we found, just like we were talking about finding sponsors, what we did was through the state hospital CEO associations, we found a corporate sponsor, and this was a company there at the top of the book. It says, Endeavis Recruiting and Retention Presents Drama-Free Teams. So they were the corporate sponsor, and they were working as sponsors already in state hospital CEO association meetings or conferences. And so they wanted to get more hospitals as clients. So now you see the synergy between the corporate sponsor and their interest in wanting to access more hospitals and then Dennis's interest in accessing more hospitals. So you have that synergy. And so here's what happens. And Devis invested and purchased 10,000 copies of the book. They then had five state association, CEO association meetings already booked where they were already paid sponsors. And what they did was they contacted the associations and said that they have this great speaker that they would like to offer that won't cost the association a dime to have Dennis come in and speak. And so then what they did was they gave Dennis a negotiated speaking fee for all five of the events. The key to this was that they did a book launch at every association. And so at every association conference, they would announce the book, talk about the new book that's come out, and then they would do a book launch and then they would end up selling the books in bulk to CEOs because after Dennis's talk, you had people coming up to him and saying, hey, I'd really like to talk to you about coming into our organization or do you have more information? And so then the book launch gave them a great way to get in front of those CEOs again. The last thing is it's a pocket-sized book. So it's not some huge 230-page book. It's a 100-page book. And the genius like of this, this 
There you go. And the genius of that is that um, CEOs would leave a message because inside the book, there's six different ways to contact Dennis. And so they would leave an email or they'd leave a voicemail or they'd send a text message. And what they would say is, hey, love the book. I read it on the flight home after the conference. And so one of the things you want to think about is today, everyone is so busy by reading a hundred page book, I can get through the book more quickly. And so you're serving your audience. And so that's where we came up with this concept of a pocket sized book. And it's been really working gangbusters in other industries as well. Yeah, I love when people take this and they take it and they read it. I was here, they read it on the plane. And I was smart because when you do write your book, you want to put all the ways that they can contact you. Because in the book, this is like literally a walking brochure of all of your amazing, you know, genius. And then they have all these ways to click here, get some free resources and get the ebook of this. And by doing that, I'm getting them all to be added to my email list. So it's a really great way to have something small and tiny that you can take, but this becomes a walking brochure of your genius. They see what you do and like, wow, we really need this in our company. And so then they're going to want to bring you in, right? They want, want to buy hundreds of books as well at the same time. So it's a really great opportunity to be able to do that. All right, secret three. This one I love. This is probably one of the ones that most people are like get excited about. And I'll tell you my experience because Stephen helped me understand this champions model. I kept going in and getting booked to help mm -hmm. top executives. So number five in Microsoft, she's the global channel chief. Her name was Gabrielle Schuster. And she wanted, I heard her speak at GeekWire. I literally walked up to her afterwards and had a conversation. And I said, can I, and I told her what I did. And I, she says, oh, do you have feedback for me? And I said, well, I do have one thing if you're open. And she's like, well, of course. And I said, your high nasal voice is killing your career in a male dominated industry. They don't hear you. And she's like, I have had seven speaking coaches in my life and no one has ever told me that. And that is spot on. I need to hire you. So I start working with Gabriella. Well, she's got a whole comms Ooh. team. And and I was like, oh, this is something that was new to me. I'm like, oh, it's whole comms team. Well, what do they do? And the guy was like, well, right, I, I write all of her speeches. Well, I help her book the speeches and get on the things and all these different things. And so I was listening and I said, well, who teaches her how to speak? And they said, nobody. He's like, well, the, I write her speeches and I give her feedback after she gets off stage. But, you know, I was just a, a newscaster. I just went into communications in, in college and this is what landed me this job. And so what I noticed was that even the comms directors in these organizations had no experience in actually speaking coaching and helping them, helping them make sure that they, you know, know what they're doing and do it well on stage because nobody wants their executive to get up there and bomb or stammer or say, uh, um, um. And that happens all the time, especially in the tech space. I see it, or I see the ones that get up in their hoodies. So what I started to do is I talked about this with Steven and Steven said, Aaron, you got to use the champions model. You could literally go in, you have your content. I have courses and all my content teaching people how to overcome ums and ahs, how to overcome stammering, how to breathe properly, how to speak properly, how to speak and tell, tell stories to the people, everyone in the room is leaning in, how to use neuro-linguistic programming to make sure everyone feels like you're speaking their language, all of those things. He's like, you have this vault of it. Why don't you just go and train people inside the company to become the speaking coach for all the executives? And you can have them on each team. And so when I when I pitched that, no longer was it a $12,000, you know, um, opportunity to work with Gabriella. Now, after that, I looked at it and said, how would you like this? And the comms director, he was like, wow. Jeff was like, "I this would be awesome because everything you're teaching her, I'm learning so much. And I would love to be able to do that. Now, it saves the company money, smart, but they also pay you a bigger amount. So a $100,000 offer. And if you think about how many comms directors there are, I can say, hey, here's a licensing deal. You can have all this content. I could come in and train it and teach all of them. And then they can become the champions of, you know, speaking. 
And so that's literally how I went from selling smaller packages to selling six figure packages and above, because Stephen helped me realize that I could do that faster, easier and quicker because there's no way I could serve all of their executives in Microsoft and not at the same time either. But doing this, I got paid as if I was, but I was training other people to do that. So Stephen, I'd love for you to talk about how you brought up on this champions model and what you've used it for. Sure. So here's the context. I had a hospital and they were wanting to redesign new hire orientation and they were wanting to work on their employee onboarding. So for new onboarding new hires, and they wanted to improve those two processes in their organization. They had um, been referred to me. And so as they're talking to me, they think that they want to hire me to come in and do speaking. And so they kept talking about the speaking that they were wanting me to do and the training that they'd love for me to do. And then through that discovery conversation, we actually got them to really see that the real opportunity was to redesign new hire orientation and the onboarding process. And so with that context, what I was able to do was I was able to say, and this is the key distinction, the key phrase that changed everything for me. What I would do is I would say, well, let me ask you a question. Aren't you tired of hiring speakers? They come in, they make your audience laugh, they make them cry, they make them laugh again. And then they finish with the starfish story and nothing changes. And every time you'll get the executive will laugh and say, well, yes, if I'm honest, that's yes, I am tired of doing that because there's no follow up. There's no follow through um, after the training or after the speech. And this is the phrase that changed everything. Well, wouldn't you rather have an asset? Wouldn't you rather have an asset? And they'll say, yes, I love assets. Tell me more. Well, rather than hiring me to come in as a speaker trainer, imagine if you gave me 30, 40, or 50 of your people. So this Cooper University Medical Center was 6,700 employees. So I said, give me 50 or 60 of your employees from all the different departments throughout the entire organization. And we're talking frontline people. They're not managers. Mm -hmm. We're talking about frontline staff in all these different departments. And what I did was I said, I'll train them to be champions for, or, for new hire orientation and for onboarding. And now you'll have people throughout the entire hospital that are aware of what you're doing with the initiative, how you want to improve new hire orientation and how you want to do onboarding better. So the concept became orientation champions and they would come in and teach new hire orientation. And so that's what was exciting was that you, it's basically a train the trainer model where instead of it just being me doing all the training, I certified them to become the trainers and we called them champions. And so that's the champions model. Similar to what Aaron just talked about, the other opportunity there is to give you an idea, companies will pay anywhere from 2,500 to $4,000 per champion to certify those champions. And so now when you start talking about 30, 40, 50 champions, you're now looking at a much bigger six figure contract. And so it's a much bigger project yet you're not having to deliver everything. So it's a really exciting leverage model. Dude, and I love that because if you think about that, that's $240,000 and you just train these people and then they duplicate you, which is awesome. And you can have them recertify every year. You could have a refresher. You could have them add new people to it because, you know, there's going to be turnover. So you can consist consistently have that to keep going back to. So that's what I love about the champions model. I love that. Wouldn't you rather have an asset? So tell us, I love that when you talk about would you rather have an asset, like you said, with, with talking about, you know, these people that come in and speak, the asset is having, you know, your guidebook, like you were talking about. So talk about how that becomes an asset for the company. Sure. So the personal action guide becomes, for instance, a 52 week manager's guide to leadership topics. So for instance, I would come in as a keynote speaker and do a leadership talk and might cover things like conflict resolution or having difficult conversations with employees or how to have coaching conversations. And so instead of just hiring me to do the speech, the asset became in this context, the asset became the personal action guide, which is then the tool that the managers can use each week. They could pick a different topic in the book and work with their own employees, their own team members on that topic. And so now you've given them an asset to work with over, it could be 15 right. weeks, it could be 30 weeks, it could be an entire year. 
I'm sorry. I'm trying to get this to so I can. My son's gonna go get the dog. <laughs> I'm back. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yep, yep. Without the dog? Yep. So you talked about Cooper. So that was awesome. And then yeah, this is one of your, your clients, Mike Thompson. Tell us a little bit about Mike and what he was up to. So Mike Thompson was a big education speaker. And so he did a lot of work in K through 12, um, as well as colleges, and had not worked in corporate. But he discovered me through a referral, and we started talking about what was possible with the leadership content that he was teaching at the education level. There was an applicability to apply that leadership, those leadership principles to a corporate environment. And so what he was able to do is he was able to land a, a huge corporate um, construction company. And what he did out of the gate was he offered the champions model as the initial offering and so it really changed his business, transformed his business, because for the first time, he had a $150,000 contract. And then it turned out that he was able to stay with that company for three years because he ended up renewing each year. And one of the things Aaron said a minute ago, what they did was each year they would certify new champions because you have people that leave the company and so on. And so he really transformed his business from being transactional as a speaker and started doing the champions model. What I also love is as you start rolling out the champions model inside of a company, when they see that some people got handpicked or maybe they have a sign up or whatever, they're like, well, how do I get in that? How do I do that next time? Because they all want to gather more assets on their own resumes. And so it's really a pivotal thing because now you have the people inside the corporation championing themselves to be a part of it. And so that's the beautiful thing because when uh, a uh, employee comes up and says, I want to be a part of that. The company's like, okay, we'll pay for it. And since it's working, it's doing great. Well, we'll, of course we'll do that. And so that's the beautiful thing that you're able to be able to do that inside of these organizations and with these contracts. So the last secret that I'm gonna share is about optimizing corporate workshops. Like I said, I did not get into um, corporate in my in my youth. I was too busy doing saving the world and healing people. Uh, but what I loved is that I found a way around this. As you, as I said earlier, I'd go to industry events and I would meet with people and find out how I could get to whom I would ever want to talk to. That was one way of, of you know, getting around maybe the gatekeeper. But also for me was I had a friend that worked at Boeing. <laughs> And she's like, I love everything you're doing, Erin. You are so awesome. And a lot of the women at Boeing really need this. And I was like, okay, so how do we do that? And she goes, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my supervisor and I'm going to ask if we can have you come in and do a day-long workshop for us. And I was like, great. And she goes, so they'll, I'll make sure that that's cleared. And then I'm going to get 10 to 12 women to show up to come to this event, I think it was less than 20 because I thought 20 would be too much because I was recording the beginning and then I give them feedback and then we would te teach speaking all day. And then I'd have them get back up in front of the room and do another two minute speech at the end of the day. And so they would see the changes in themselves and I would record that and then I would give them feedback again. So they were getting a lot out of that. And I was like, I didn't want to not include everybody in the in the feedback. So I kept it intimate and small, but it was beautiful because what I did was I asked my friend, okay, what would it take, you know, for them to to pay me? What would I have to how would I do that? And she goes, well, you could go through the purchasing department. There's all these other things. There's all these loopholes and blah, blah, blah. And you're gonna have to become a um um I can't think of the word right now. You have to be yeah. I can't think service like a service provider that they approve. Right. So you have to go through all this approval process. She's like, or we can all swipe our cards for less than $500. And I said, Ooh, let's do that. So I said, okay, great. It's 499. It's 499. And so they were able to each one of them, you was able to just pay the $500 without getting approval, without having to get their manager, their supervisors to sign off on it. It was just to slide their card and be done. And so in the middle of that day, we're like at lunchtime and we're just starting to talk, like having lunch, sitting there. By the way, this is what I love about workshops. I show up, look pretty and have all my like, you know, little things to pass out and the little journals and all the things. But they bring in the food. 
And then they take out the food. They bring in coffee and tea. They take that out. Then lunch comes. I just got to be the pretty girl in front of the room. I felt like Vanna White. <laughs> and I had everything taken care of. I was like, this is so much easier because I put on huge events. And it is a lot of work. But I just got to show up and do my genius in front of the room. I could do that all day. So when we sat down for lunch, <clears throat> these women were starting to talk about how much more of the women they know in the organization that needs this workshop. And so they said, well, Erin, how would we, how could we help you do that? And in the, in the process of this, um, it was the feminine executive communication coaching workshop in that workshop, I was empowering them to be wing women for other women to not only just open the door for women to kick the door in and allow all the women to come through and to know that we have a seat at the table and to save a seat for your sister. It was this big, you know, movement inside of Boeing, because as you walk in, I'm walking through and all I see is crusty old white guys. <laughs> and then I get into this room with these beautiful women with all different ethnicities and cultures and backgrounds and all of that. And so as the door closes, we can actually start to talk about how do we empower one another and how do we help doing that going forward? So what they asked was, how do I do that? And I go, well, I guess I could just create a sign-up sheet. I could create an another, you know, registration sheet for you. And they go, do it. We'll go get them printed. And then we can hand them out to the people that we know that need this workshop. So we can get more and more of our women becoming wing women for one another. So I empowered them to do that. But then they asked me if they could do it for me. And it was beautiful. And so because of that, it started to get bigger and bigger. And I just kept going. And then all of a sudden, the men started like, hey, what about us? We want something like that. We see all these women come out and they're changed and they're awesome. And it's amazing. Well, I want that. So then I was like, well, I can create that for you too. Well, it got to be so overwhelming of how many companies I was doing this for, not just in Boeing, but there's a lot of employees in Boeing. We have six different locations in the Seattle area for Boeing. So in each one of those buildings probably holds between two to 10,000 people, oh. <laughs> workers. So imagine how big that could get. And so then I got to start doing the champions model on my end by actually coaching people to become a speaking coach in the way that I do it so that they could go out and do these presentations and these workshops for me. Now, the beautiful thing was some of them just wanted to go and present the content and sell into my program. They didn't want to do anything, but then some of them wanted to be a speaking coach. So they learned it and then they got to actually make money doing it, but I would get paid for the entire, for all the women that were coming and I would pay them to just go in and serve and then whatever they made on the back end, they could make. So this is a really great way of just kind of avoiding all of the red tape by just sneaking in. And so by having these workshops, it really started to blow up. And then, and then the beautiful thing is, you know, the women in Boeing, we're talking the women, in Amazon, the women in Google, the women in Expedia, and it just kept growing. And so I became known for this workshop and then every, every organization wanted to hire me and my team to come in and deliver it. So that's how amazing uh, corporate workshops can be. And it can be a lot easier than you think. And like I said, it's, you know, I get to show up and just look pretty <laughs> and do my genius in front of the room. So I'm going to take a pause for a minute. And I'm going to ask you to put in the chat what so far in these four secrets has either blown your mind. It's something you're like, I got to do that. We want to see in the chat. Where are you guys at with that? And with some of the things that maybe you've been taking away from this presentation, where can you see yourself using some of these models? Maybe it's your business. Maybe if you're we're not knowing if it'll work for you, put in what you do. We want to hear what you do and who you serve. And maybe there's ways we can help you figure out some of those places that you could start to go in and do that with. So oh, get up the chat, start typing away. And we will... We want to give an, get an idea of where you guys are at, what's what's been helpful for you so far, and where you see yourself using it, being creative. Awesome. Lynn, what do you what do you do? What are you serving the world with? Um, I'm a success coach. I help people create better results with less effort. I've been I had um helped corporate executives achieve better results for over 30 years. I love that. That's awesome. So in this, how can you see yourself using some of the things we've talked about today? Um, I think each one of these uh, incorporated different things that I hadn't thought about. So again, it's just Good. 
looking at how I can adapt these to what I do. That's awesome. Give me a, a, a thumbs up in the chat if you were like, I've never thought of that before. <laughs> Reframing, being creative. Yes. Awesome. I'd love to see if you guys are like, yeah, this is things I didn't think about. I think that's the beauty of what Stephen and I do together is we think outside the box. You know, I think that there are a lot of people that teach you how to get into corporate and they're corporate -y speakers and they do all that. They just do it one way. You have to go to the purchasing department. You have to become a, you know, a vendor. That's it. A certified vendor. That was the word I couldn't figure out. <laughs> certified vendor, all of those things. And I was like, oh, but let me just tell you guys, I want you to know that I didn't even know how to bill inside of corporations. I didn't know what they needed. I didn't know how they wanted it. I just knew I used to send invoices for coaching, but I didn't know. And I will tell you one of the be best things that ever happened to me was when I got to Microsoft, she's like, well, to become a vendor, it takes nine months, nine months of background checks and all the things. So I was smart, thought outside the box again, called up one of my friends who was already a preferred vendor inside of Microsoft. And she knows exactly how to build them. She knows exactly what to do, what they need to see and all the KPIs and how to hit all those. And she's like, well, I'll just do the billing for you. Just give me a thousand dollars and I'll do that for you. So again, another way of getting around the red tape and getting your stuff out there. And it was the smartest decision I ever made because then I didn't have to figure out how do I how do I position this? What do I put together? But since then have become very open to when, when conversations like, well, how would you like it delivered? All companies and organizations always want it in a different way. Tell me what you need. And then if it's from that, I would get how they wanted it to deliver to them because Microsoft and Expedia have different ways and different forms and different stuff. And so it's being that humble and being willing to ask. I'm never, never afraid to ask a question. All right. Paula, good information. I'm the queen on one workshops for an organization. This has opened my eyes. I love that. <clears throat> I like the industry report idea as a in way, a way in. Also doing more of the train the trainer approach, empowering internal champions, some great open minders. Awesome. Thank you. It's really an eye-opening. Sorry, I lost my voice. Can't talk right now. Oh, sorry, love. Um, what are the five top five things to do for a newbie? What to start, where to start? All right, I can we can go over that. Um, so the first thing is you got to get all your stuff together. And at the end of this, we'll give you an opportunity to talk about we're gonna tell you about what our program is and how we do that. But you really first have to get what is your expert positioning? What are all your collaterals? What are all your your evidence, your results that you've gotten people? What is your your bio look like? What does that credit credentials look like? Then it's all right now putting it into a package. Now you got to put into all the different ways you could you could even use these four models right? Is as um, a all cart menu in a way, right? So we want to create your offers. We want to make sure your offers are so sexy. You want to buy them because then it's not a sale. It's very easy when you're like, man, I want to take advantage of this, right? So that would be the next thing. And then it's okay now figuring out where you want to um, put this out to. And so what companies, what are these dream companies that you want? Who would I reach out to? There's, a, there's certain people, certain titles you need to reach out to inside these organizations. We give you a list of that. We also give you a list of organizations. I know Stephen doesn't even know that yet, but I've created, I just got a whole list. It's going to be something that we put together in there. So then you'll know where and when to, to send this out. And then we're going to coach you all the way along the way to make sure you're maximizing your the, as much money as you can in whatever revenue model you want to use. So that's where and what you would start and what you would need to do. Um, and I, I love that you guys are asking questions already because if you have more questions, just have, feel free to put pop them in there and we will answer them along the way. Stephen, did you want to add anything? No, I'm well. I think... Um... It's just the potential, the opportunity is so exciting in terms of just taking, I mean, what I noticed, which is why we do this, in the chat, what you all are talking about is you're seeing new possibilities. You're seeing new ways to think. It, um, the few of you said it opens my eyes to what's possible, right? So that's what's exciting is the potential. Yeah. Yeah. And we see that for you. And that's why we want to help you get to that. So this is Tanji, one of my clients. Her first corporate workshop led to six people joining her executive leadership program, knitted her 75 grand. She was really excited. She just didn't have the confidence to get out there. And that's the thing that 
I think Stephen and I've seen more and more is that there people most of people are lacking the confidence. And what I will tell you is because our step by step program works and our clients are getting results immediately that we know you start building the confidence once you get out there and start doing it. It's one thing to be like, oh, I'm in this program. It's great. But if you're not taking action, you're not building up that confidence. You know, the first time I pitched a hundred thousand dollar gig, I wasn't thinking about pitching that high. But I was talking to the lady and I was like, well, why did you not hire somebody else that they wanted to hire a PR agency to help them um, get their um, CEO to be able to speak really well on stages? And she goes, well, he, they were charging like one hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. And I was like, well, that's great. I only charge one hundred, which is not anywhere where I would have charged at the time. But they're like, wow, that's really awesome. That would be amazing for us. And so sometimes it just takes you doing it and getting the result to build that confidence. But we want you to know that everything you're putting together, you have confidence in it so that when you show up, you can be confident in how you serve people and what you serve them with and how they get results. And so that's what you know working with us helps do. So this past hour, when you agree, it's been time well spent. Seems like a lot of the people are saying, man, it's really opened my eyes to so much more. Yes, I think it definitely means that it's been worthwhile. And I hope we delivered on our promise to give you real content, real stuff, real takeaways. Also, some of the real stories and results that we've gotten to help you understand that this is available to you. It's an op opportunity for you. And we know that we can't cover everything in this hour. And we know we have 90 minutes. So we have a few more, we have a little more time. So what we will do is if you're open to it, we will go through what it is to work with us, but also we'll be around to answer questions. So if you're having questions right now, or if you're feeling trepidatious about stepping into the corporate world, you know, put that in the, the chat. We'll have a few minutes at the end of this to really go through some of those for you and help you feel better. Um, and then we're going to give a special opportunity, right? So the only difference we said is acquiring the skills and the confidence. One of the other beautiful things that most of you don't know that I do is I work with NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And one of our clients in the very first round we did this, she didn't, she had all the assets, but she couldn't figure out how to go out there and do it. And she was like, I don't even know if this will work for me. Nothing's really worked for me. And it was kind of funny because there was a part of uh, both of us going, oh, is she really ready to work with us? Do we really want to bring her on? I go, well, what if I book a call with her, clear out some of her blocks so I can remove limiting beliefs and blocks. And Johan in here, I, if he's still in here, I can't see on the chat, but if he wanted to put in there, I've done some breakthrough work with Johan. I've done some with Steven as well. Um, and it really helps clear that way for you. So after we did that call and I got her to break through some of those limiting beliefs and build the, the confidence in herself, she stepped into the program and she was one of our best clients. She'd get her homework done on time. She was getting results. She had even all during like, I was, maybe it was like week three or four. I'm not quite sure, Stephen, if you remember, but she got a call saying, Hey, we really want what you have to offer. How big can we get this? And she was like, uh, <laughs> I said, see, it works. You just got to get in and start doing it. So that's what we want to do. And so for those who might feel trepidatious, for those who might feel like they are having things that are blocking them, I'm also willing to do some of that as well, if that helps you make the decision better and to build that confidence. So you want to talk about till that, sure, Stephen, because she's your plan. Sure. So till that was a perfect example of being absolutely brilliant. It was incredible what she did, both in coaching as well as consulting and speaking. And she landed this family owned business as a new client. And they wanted her to coach them, the family members, the executives that were all family members. They wanted her to coach them on a monthly basis. And so she came to me and didn't know really what to charge for doing that work. And so what I did was I said, we'll charge $10,000 a month. And as you can see here, it, that made her th shift her paradigm and she thought completely differently. And she had never thought in a million years to charge 10,000 a month. But then what you'll notice is she now has that confidence, but here's what's exciting. She's now signed them on for a third year. It was just recently. She signed them up for the third year of $10,000 a month, which as till that says here, it changed everything for her. And she's now operating at a whole new higher level. The other thing it did was it gave her the confidence to charge $10,000 a month to the next family owned business that came mm -hmm. to her. And so now she's doing that with three other 
companies that are all family owned businesses, which is her niche is family owned businesses. So it just shows you the power of shifting your paradigm, rocking out those limiting beliefs. And Aaron is a master at helping you do that. And then stepping forward and simply claiming what you deserve. And that's exactly what Tildet did. And I love that because how many of us want an extra $120,000 a year just from one client, right? That's, that's life-changing for a lot of people. And, you know, there's a lot of things out there that are teaching coaches that, oh, you can make this much money speaking in this, but a lot of that's not guaranteed, you know, unless you have a really strong strategy, you know, that's why people hire me because I have strong strategies behind getting on stages. And even if you can't, you can't sell from stage, I got ways that you can. And so it's finding that for yourself so that you can actually go out there and make significant money and have a trajectory that's not the roller coaster anymore. I know a lot of people that are feeling the roller coaster. This helps you do that. And that's what I love about it. So if you're ready, we want to invite you to join us at the Corporate Mastery Accelerator, where we spend 12 weeks going through all of the things that you need in order to take your business, your consulting, your coaching to the, to the next level. Thanks, Paula, for being here. <clears throat> so what you're going to get. So we're, like I said, it's 12 weeks. It's going to start on October 16th. It's going to be every Wednesday. Um, was it 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m.? Eastern time. So yep. we'll do that every single week. You'll get an hour of us coaching you, teaching you. You can ask questions. You can get feedback. We also have office hours twice a month where you actually can just show up with your stuff and say, hey, look at my thing here. Let me share my screen. Let me show you my package. And you're getting real feedback from both Stephen and I, experts in this industry doing this every day. And so you won't feel like, I don't know if this is good enough or I don't know if this works, but you're going to get that every single week. Then we're going to get Mastering Your Corporate Message. It's, for me, helping you understand your expertise and how you want to deliver it and what content you want to give and how to actually maximize that so that you can build up all those other offers. But really making sure you're going to do so well in front of the room that you're going to keep converting. Because to me, that's the most important part. I know there are people out there that teach you to go get on stage and even if you suck, you just burn through the list. I don't want that. I want you to keep being asked back over and over and over. And that's what I want to help you do. And then we're going to get into your crafting those irresistible offers, that building that in. So you make sure that when you sit with somebody and you're talking like, well, here are all the ways that I could work with you. Here's this, here's my biggest package where you get all of these things. And they're like, oh, well, maybe that's outside of our budget. Well, then I have this do, 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 and I can do it for this amount. Oh, well, that feels more doable for us. That's more in our budget. So I want you to be able to have your all cart menu and models, different models that you could use that can actually gain you more money every single time you close a corporate client. And then we're going to give you selling into corporations. You're going to get a system that teaches you all of those things. We're going to give you the list of corporate corporations that are seeking trainings. I got a list and I'm excited to share it with you guys because some of you go, well, I don't know where to start. Well, guess what? I have a list for you with all the contact information. You're also going to learn the champions model. You're going to get to build out your own champions model. I know that that sounds really great to all of you because here's my thing. I know for me, I know I want to help a lot of people in this world, but I can't do that alone. So by having the champions model, I'm able to help more and more people worldwide by doing that, not only with my speaking coaches that have trained to be a speaking coach, but the champions inside of organizations that are also doing that. And so now we get to serve at a much larger level. And here's one of our, our dear clients, Matthew Silverman. He was one of our, in, in our first round. And he said he took away so much practical guidance, templates, scripts, and advice. He already started applying in a speaking business and during our program, he landed his first five-figure deal using the proposal and agreement templates. I mean, that's pretty well worth it, right? <laughs> and I just found out that he landed Home Depot. He Yay! Yep. That's awesome. And he has a book. It's funny. He put out a, a book right before we started the program. We're talking about the champions model. So he's an expert in creating that same thing in organizations. And he was super excited to use the, the avenues of getting his champions model into more organizations. So you're also going to get 
whole bunch of stuff on the cold outreach coaching, launching the five figure events. You're going to learn the art of negotiation, selling big offers to corporations, launching your own mastermind inside of corporate. Can you tell them a little bit about that, Stephen? Because you're a master at, at launching masterminds. Sure. So the concept is um, so much of champions where you're leveraging your exposure and leveraging the asset of value and helping people. What you can do is you can offer to host a mastermind group within the organization. So for instance, at the vice president level or at a director level, you might have a mastermind group for all of the directors. And so now what they have is it's a peer to peer group where they're able to work on their own challenges, their biggest challenges, learn from each other and also help each other navigate their careers and also be successful with different company initiatives. So it's creating a mastermind inside the organization. And what happens is you build, it seems cliche, but it builds real synergy between the directors because now they're building relationships that they didn't have because they were all just so disjointed throughout the company. Now you're bringing them together on a routine basis and you're building a real community at that level of the director um, level in the company. And so the company loves it because of the transformation they see with the peer-to-peer -peer support of each other at that director level as one example. And we're going to help you craft those irresistible co consulting proposals. So t t why don't you talk about um, consulting proposals? Because you're so good at, you know, you were even taught me the ways not to do some things not to do in consulting proposals. So tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. So one of the things with proposals is all about timing. And one of the things people will do is they'll have a conversation with a prospect. They'll get very excited and they think that there's all these you know, green lights and the project's going to go forward, but they haven't talked to the client prospect about money yet. And so before they speak about money, they get excited and then the client says, well, send me a proposal. And the consultant says, OK, I'll do that and I'll work up a proposal for you. Well, number one, the challenge is, have you had enough of a discovery conversation to truly know what it is that they need and that they want, which are two different things, what they need and what they want. So that's the first thing is, did you give yourself a chance to really discover truly what they need and want? The other thing is by stepping away and saying that you're gonna create a proposal, you've now lost touch with the person. And so now you're gonna put, you're gonna work all these hours to put together this detailed proposal and you're gonna send that proposal in and then you're gonna get crickets, you're gonna hear nothing. So the magic pill here is that you, even if it's traditionally like a second phone call, what you do is you have your follow-up conversation with the client based on that initial discovery call. And instead of sending the proposal, and if they say, send me a proposal, what you could do is you can say, well, I think it would be really valuable. I think it would be really valuable and could save you a lot of time. It would be really valuable and it would save you a lot of time if we could just have one more conversation to talk about what's possible in terms of our working together. Okay, so then you would schedule that call and it's that second call where you're going to flush out the, you're going to run by them to some of the ideas of what you think are solutions and then you're going to let them give you feedback. In that conversation, you're going to then talk about money and you're going to talk about what the investment is and what those terms are. And it's only after you've had the conversation, that second conversation, about the finances, it's only after the financial conversation that you send your proposal. So the paradigm shift is your proposal is nothing but a confirmation of the dollars and cents conversation that you had all about the finances. The proposal simply comes at the different stage in the process and it's simply confirming what you've already discussed with them. That is the nuance and that is the magic of doing something different with proposals. I love that. Oh, and Sonia also joined us and she might be rejoining us, uh, but she one of the times she was putting something together and she's like, oh, I have all this stuff I have to create, I have to do all this stuff. And in our <clears throat> open office hours, we were able to help her cut down what she was actually doing and be more specific and create more revenue opportunities. And so she's been doing that. And she just launched her first cohort of um, new executives coming in to work with her, which is awesome. So who has this worked for? It's people starting out doing corporate speaking or consulting, people wanting to do larger company clients, maybe you've done some small ones. And then maybe you've struggled through getting through to the executives, knowing who to get through to. 
even wanting to close more deals. And I love that you helped her raise her fees and she was able to do that. So talk about Robin for a second. Sure. So Robin had quite a, a history of working with Fortune 500 companies and she was getting rebooked incredibly well. Like one Fortune 500 company booked her six times. And so I asked her a question about what her fee was. And I let her know, I said, well, did you know that corporations, when they're dealing with really great speakers like you, did you know that they routinely are expecting to pay 10,000 to 12,500 for a keynote speech from a speaker like yourself with your background and with your experience? And so she made that shift, just like Tildette did. She made the shift and she raised her fees from 7,500 to 10,000. I believe now she's up to $12,000 for a keynote speech. And so here was a person that was doing great work, but playing too small, was getting rebooked, and she was only charging 7,500. And so sure enough, one of the, the limiting beliefs she had was if I raise my rates, they won't rebook me. Well, it turns out that she's gotten rebooked the same amount as she was getting rebooked. And so those dollars are just a mental model that we have in between our ears and you have to really shift your mindset. And so she shifted her mindset and it made all the difference in the world for her. So here's a part of what your, what your stuff that you have. So here's all the things you're gonna get that we talked about on that list. And each one you can see how impactful and how valuable it is. You have all the things you're going to need. You're going to have words and secrets and, you know, you're going to have scripts that are going to help you do that. You're also going to know how to become a $10,000 speaker, just like we were just talking about how to get paid in advance every time. Story stealing secrets, little known secrets about being a wealthy speaker, how to end your speech to get more money. Who wants more money? Yes. Because even if you go in and you get, you can, you know, get a gig where you're being paid 10 to 12,000, but then you can also sell to the room. So how do you do that? Growing your business with the book. You're going to learn all about Steven's success with how he did that and how to do that easier and faster and marketing mistakes to avoid, how to sell more books quickly. Even if you don't have a book, we will teach you how to do that. We'll get you wrapped up in to know how to get one out quickly. Um, earn five figures from a single event. We're going to go through how to get hired to speak from main stage, ways to partner with event producers. We're going to go into deeper things, but how do you get multiple gigs? How do you get more of that? How do you get an expo booth? How do you leverage that and use that? And he's also going to talk, he's going to talk about the sponsorship secrets. Like he was talking about with the book and how to approach sponsors. What do you need? What are the things that you need to say? How do you need to do that? You get scripts and blueprints. We have tons of scripts and blueprints. Almost every single thing we're telling you is you could actually just read it from a script if you needed to. So it's fail safe in that way, because if you just want the script and just want to read it, go for it. But if you want to start being getting better at it, you'll get, you know, with speaking, coaching and all of that, you'll be really help. It will help you to not have to read the script anymore and you'll get better and better at it every single time. And I love that you helped his sales increase by 74% in one year, right? Who doesn't want that kind of increase? So all the things you're going to get, 12 weeks of group coaching, mastering your corporate message, all the things we talked about, champions model, cold outreach, art of negotiation. And you can see the total value is at 30000 We're not going to have you pay that today. So don't get all worried about that. But I also want to throw in some bonuses that we know are really going to help you. Like one of the clients we had on there today said that using that proposal workshop template or corporations agreement, you, he was able to, to really land that. So if you want that, you're going to get the template on that as well. You're going to get a discovery conversation script, exactly what to say and what to ask. When you're having those initial conversations with somebody, how do you get to them to tell you what the problems are? How do you go deep, far, fast with them so that you can say that you have a solution to their problem and make it a no-brainer with them? You're also going to get My Transformational Speakers Academy. It teaches you everything you need to know how to convert your audience from so audience to clients every single time you take a stage. I'm also going to throw in my Red Dot Secrets online TEDx course. I'm launching a group coaching now, but it, it actually you can go through this as a course and just take it and learn everything you need inside of how to land a TED Talk and how to be really good at speaking. It has both inside of that. So you're going to get all those bonuses on top of that, right? So we're going to add that in. And now we're 35000 But if all this did was lend you one TEDx speech, would it be worth it? What if it landed you a $30,000 event? Would it be worth it? 
Orlando do $80,000 with champions. Would it be worth it? I think we'd say yes. So you can see why others are paying us individually at least $10,000 for a private strategy session because we know we can get their ROI back. We've shown you all, all along the way how we are here to, to get you your ROI back, to get you the results that you're looking for, and to get the impact that you want to create. One keynote speech recoups your investment. And that's what we want for all of you, right? So again, all the things, I'm not going to go through that. I thought I got that out. But it's just to get started today. It's just 3997 and we do have some payment options. So I'm going to um, put the link in here and I'm also going to open the link because I'm going to stop sharing and show you each week by week what we will be doing so you really have a full scope of what each week looks like in this accelerator and give you the, the link to it. So let me come back here, share my screen. Here's the, ch oh, I don't, that's the chat. There's the link, but I'm going to share my screen so you can all see it. So you can really get to an idea. So you can go to this afterwards if you want. Just make sure you save the chat or save the link. Here's what you get. So each week we're walking through what you're going to learn every single week. Meet and greet, mastering your corporate message, crafting irresistible offers, the, your niche and your dream list of 50 companies, right? You're going to learn how to sell to corporations, even without a book. You're going to turn on the champions model. We're going to go through cold outreach and five-figure events, how you can create those within organizations. The art of negotiation and the payment process. We're going to walk you through that. Like I said, I didn't know how that worked. And so we want to make sure you know exactly how that works. And then we're going to go into crafting irresistible con consulting proposals, like Stephen said, towards the end, after you've already had the conversation about money. How do you put it in there that they're just like so excited to take this to their boss or to just sign off on it, right? So then the last two weeks, we're gonna we're gonna jump from December 11th because we got Christmas and New Year's in there. We're gonna give you guys a break and give you some chances to even catch up, maybe take that time to start re doing your outreach, do all of those things, getting some feedback from us. And then we're gonna do the last two weeks are hot seats. So you get those January 8th and the 15th, all the hot seats you want to consolidate your learnings, get feedback, anything else you're looking at. If there's things that you're getting results, you're like, I need better results than that. We can work through that with you. So on this page, you're gonna see all the things that we said we would give you. And this is the pay in full discount. But if you come here to join now, when it takes you to the page, there's also better payment options if you have the ability to do Afterpay or Klarna. So you could come in here. I mean, for me, I know because I have Afterpay that I could get it for $346 a month. That's doable. So if that's something you want to do, we also have a funding out, an outside funding agency if you wanted to go through that and get more funding and get this paid for. Or we have those payment options that are available to you right there on that page. So we just click on one of these two and see what your payment options are. And that's how you would join the group. And we want you to be able to do that with us. And where is, okay, I'll show my screen again. And the other thing we want to do is if you have more questions, if you, oops, I didn't want to share the screen. I wanted to share this PowerPoint. Can you see the PowerPoint, Stephen? Because I can't see where I'm out at now. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Let me stop sharing and share again. Um, here we go. Well, we want you to be able to take some fast action. So we want to help you make your very first sales conversation. So this is a bonus for the first two people who sign up. If that's something you want to do. Take action quickly. Go and get that. Take care of it because that is priceless to have us help you actually have those conversations. I don't know many coaches that help you do sales calls, but we're going to do that for you. And so what we want you to do is if you're still kind of questioning and you want to know if this is going to work for you, if you feel like I'm not quite sure all of those things. I want to be able to give you my calendar link. I'm available today, most of the afternoon. And uh, tomorrow, I I don't have a lot going on because I just got back from my cruise and I blocked that off intentionally. So in the chat, I'm going to give you my Calendly link. And Stephen and I, if Stephen can't make it, I can make it. We'll, we'll make it work. Um, but you can have the opportunity to be able to book those calls, get get clear, because I know we're starting pretty quickly, but we want to make sure you're making a, a 
really good decision in, in your space that you feel like you, this is exactly, I know this is my next level. This is my next step. And as long as you know that we have the step-by-step -step method to get you to that, then we want you to join us. And if you have questions about that, please feel free to put that in. But we're here to answer questions now. As we answer questions, um, I want to, you can come off mute, raise your hand, you can just ask us anything based on anything we've covered today, anything outside of what we haven't covered, anything that's a burning desire question that you have, we'd be happy to sit here and take those. And at the same time, I'm going to go get the links for the freebies, for the, the ebooks. <laughs> Let's I'll, see. Post, I'll post mine in the chat right now. Okay, perfect. To do is one. That would be great. So any burning questions that you might have or concerns? Ebook. Copy. One in the chat too. So make sure you save the chat. You don't want to lose these things, but you'll have everything you need in there. Anyone have any burning questions? Anita, Clarice, I know you don't have a voice. <laughs> yeah. Erica, jo Johan, any questions? No, nope, all good. Mind? Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Multitasking. All good. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. How's everything going with your replacement? That was good. That's doing really well. So good. Knee replacement's good. Rest of the life, we'll talk. <laughs> All right, love it, Anita. You can't see you can't see how to save the chat. You just go to the top three buttons on the right hand side of the chat. Should be three little dots, and go down to save chat. Do you see that? Perfect. Yay! All right. Well, I'm glad this was helpful. There will be a recording. We'll be sending that out too. So, and if there's anybody you guys know that would be perfect for this, they want to join this, feel free. We also have like a $500 referral fee. So if you want to make some cash back from uh, referring, feel free to do that. I mean, nobody likes to do work alone. So invite some friends. It makes it, it makes it more fun. The other beautiful thing is the synergy that happens in our group is that we're all doing this together and you might be having the same similar audience. So now you could partner and make more connections. And so you can find other people that have a similar audience to you and it really help you get more gigs and more, more contracts. So that's the other beautiful thing about this. I'm glad I'm grateful. Anita, this is an eye opener for you. Great. I'm glad. All right. If you don't have any questions, we can let y'all go, but we'd love to see you join us. I know that you have a message that you want to get out there in the world and help some of these people in these corporations and organizations. We know that corporate America has a culture problem, <laughs> and I know that some of the beautiful things that you have to offer the world are totally needed and totally wanted. So know that you have a place and we would love to help you and we'd be excited to take you on the journey. So thank you guys so much for being here. Any last words, Stephen? Well, it's been absolutely great. And just imagine what's possible. Imagine what's possible. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys for being